Welcome to another Hot Toy Cast video review. This is me set at my coffee table doing an unscripted, unrehearsed unboxing of a video. Let's turn on that music down a little bit. It is, of course, if the music doesn't give it a Masters of the Universe. But this is new. This is a She-Ra. This is she is the first female we've gotten from Mando. So basically what I do is I do it on my coffee table. I open it live and you get my instant geeky nerdy, both good and bad reactions to exactly what I'm seeing as I open it. So I haven't opened this. I haven't looked at anyone's review. Pixel Dan is a great review. I'll check that out. I haven't even looked at any reviews yet. I ordered it. That was it. And I haven't looked at it since. So, And this is what I like to do with the Mondo figures. I like to make sure that, you know, I'm getting that just you know, like, like you did back in the day as a kid. You know, you go back and you saw the figure once in the shelf and you begged and hassled your mom for ages to get it. And eventually it would show up with luck. Anyway, fingers. So here we go. Lovely artwork here from Flor Florian Bertimer, as usual. Lovely box art. And Florian always does lovely box art. It's just nice. It's clean, lovely inking style. Really nice stuff. We got the Crystal Castle there, Crystal Falls, which some people some call it Crystal Falls. I just call it Crystal Castle, and has kind of both the, the toy version and the kind of um, the cartoon version on it there as well. So that's lovely, lovely colors. I mean, look at that. How Shira is that? Just lovely, absolutely stunning colors. Now we hope we slide it off this way. The logo is facing this way. Ah, there she is. Look at that. That's lovely. Love Florian's art. Is great there, isn't it? And you got all the characters around here as well. You got Scorpia, Maduloc, um, what's her face, Octavia. Very nice. Now, oh, this is the Mondo exclusive version as well, so it's extra special. And in the back, you get the full color illustration. Now you got some Horde Troopers, Cowl doing a legger. You got oh, you even got Dialamog down here. Absolutely, look at those. Look at those lovely colors. Absolutely, that's I love that. And Mondo packaging is great. Love the Mondo packaging. And there you go, lovely Masters of the Universe. This is Masters of the Universe here. This is why I've got Masters of the Universe music in the background. If it was a Shira product, I'd probably put some Shira music on, but it turns out it's kind of hard to get some Shira music. There is a playlist on Spotify, but there you go. Right, so let's just, just do this. Let's have a little look. Oh, look at that, see? You can tell it's new. I've still got this on us. There you go, and there she is. Oh, yes, look at this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, so we just have to... Uh, get her out of the box and get her all like laid up and stuff this is just lovely um all right let's just do this let's just do this quickly because i always find people unboxing videos is a little bit boring but let's just do this anyway and you can get my go <laughs> get my geeky reactions as and when they happen there's usually a cape tied on the back of these no that's fine but it's got a nice little starburst in the back there so that's fine okay here we go, boys and girls. I've been dying for this, by the way. You know, everyone knows how much I love a Mondo figure, but this is the first female from Mondo. It's the first female we've had from Mondo. And of course, partially designed by my friend Emiliano Santa Lucia, but all the gang over there at M Mondo, Hector and all the gang, um, you know, they're all, they're all, they all work hard to deliver these amazing figures. So first thing we do, take off, look at it. Ooh, she's protected. Oh, she's heavily protected, isn't she? Here we go. All right, here we go then. There she is. She's, she's nice. She's lighter than the males, obviously. Lighter than the males. Right, let's pull this. Oh, let's see. Right, so they've got a nice bit of plastic to really protect the face there. There we go. How do we do this now? Oh, right. There we go. A bit like a hot toy. And there she is. Oh, yes. All right. There you go. Oh, she's a... She's, uh, she's quite pouty, isn't she? She's quite, you know, she's quite the, the pouty-lipped lass, isn't she? Look at the lovely armor. Well, I, it looks like she has some symbol required, I think, a little bit. There's some stuff on there, but oh, look at this. Oh, she's lovely. The, the tiara for me is something that has always been, you know, it, 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 when people interpret, interpret Shira, sometimes the tiara goes a bit odd and stuff like that. This is a perfect tiara. This is exactly the kind of tiara I like on a Shira. It's very reminiscent and it kind of scales with the cartoon, but also it's, you can see that Emiliano has added some lovely kind of extra beveling and shapes to it there. But we'll get onto those details later on. Let's, let's, let's have a little look and see what's in the box. Let's put her standing here. Oh, can we put her standing here? This is the question. Will she stand? She will! Way. Okay, so my God, lots of wrapping here with it then. So put the wrapping. Beautiful sword sort of protection there it's quite nice very similar to the he-man design but just a bit more elegant 
quite widen, widen it out there, but it's just the Mando style to widen the blade because the He-Man blade doesn't it? The He-Man blade goes quite wide at the end as well. Lovely stuff. Lovely. There you go. Scabbard. Oh, look at that. See? Lovely motif there of Swift Wind down there at the bottom. A lovely horse motif. And it's these kinds of things that if you look at the Battle Cat as well that Mondo have just uh, just released and announced, you see that um, the designer Emiliano uh, likes to embellish and put kind of motifs in there. It, it, it's good because it just, you know, kind of grounds the character, the grounds the things a bit and gives a nice, um, nice sense of realism. And it's just extra little flourishes. Let us really love a little fur up there, a little furry cuff there too. How nice is that? Isn't that lovely? Lovely stuff. No Shira figure would be complete without their axe comb. Axe comb, axe comb, doo doo doo. And you got the little, the little, the little fecker himself. Look at him. Look at this little. Oh, you little bastard. Hey, look at him. How could you be angry with him? I know he's a bit of an annoying guy in a cartoon, but look at him. Isn't he lovely? Lovely color on him. Oh, love, lovely colors. Are those the colors in the cartoon? Or is it, there's, there's a little, it's a little bit, it's a little bit darker than the cartoon, but that's just lovely. Look at his face. Is he articulated? No, he's not articulated. Oh, his hands do move. Oh, he can give you a hug. There you go. His legs look like they're separate, but no, they do not move. So there you go. That's cow. Does he stand? He does stand. That's great. Wicked. Okay. So that over there. Lovely shield. We always love Shira shield. Oh, that's nice. And that's got some weight to it, too. Yeah, I hope that's not going to cause the problems that we usually sometimes have at Mondo, where the plastic and the weapons are a little bit too hard sometimes. But that's a lovely shield. That is gorgeous. Nice rivets on the inside, too. It's got, again, nice heavy weight to that there. Set of hands. Both hands. Get a set of hands. You got a set of fists. She's really got some nice gestural opening hands already. She's got a nice fist there. And she's got two sword gripping hands here, uh, which, you know, all the usual um, uh, articulation fully swivel around them, all the rest of it. And the, on the bottom of the tray there, and then we usually have... Ooh. Noises. On the bottom tray, we've got our lovely cape. Okay, which I'm assuming, I'm assuming is going to have require some little bit of assembly and stuff like that. There you go. Oh, look, that flies out quite well. Right, so that cape must attach to something there on the back. But look at that. That's quite nice, isn't it? And look at a lovely gold trim. It's lovely gold trim there on that. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Very nice. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Let's see what else we got. We got other stuff. See, I'm not, again, I'm not quite, like, again, I, you order this thing like a year ago, and then it's like, it kind of shows up, and it's like, oh, so I haven't looked at anything. Oh, wow, we do get another sword. Whoa, look at that. I didn't think we got an extra sword with it, to be honest. That's a surprise. Well, for those who, for those cartoon folks, this is your sword, isn't it? I mean, that is, in my opinion, the most accurate representation we've ever had of a sword of protection as based on the Filmation TV series. That is stunning. Maybe that could have been a bit more jeweled, actual jewel in there, but, you know, I, I, I maybe this is a, the exclusive accessory. I'm not sure. I think it is. That is fantastic. Wow. Wow. Absolutely moving. I mean, I'll probably give her the Mondo style sword anyway, because I just like the styling of it. Uh, that's a little extra piece there. I think that, that's going to go on somewhere on our hip and our side or something. We go get extra hair. I mean, who doesn't want extra hair? Wow. Well, that's lovely. Look and look at the, You can see some lovely light highlights in it there as well. So that's for extra flowiness. Okay. Okay, wow, this comes, she comes with a lot, doesn't she? Oh, wow, she comes with, oh, I know what all this is for. This is so you can do the kind of more uh, retro uh, mask on her. So you, I thought she attaches to her fringe. So I'll show you I'll show you all that when I start assembling her and things. So right, now this is just an unboxing so you can see what, what you get. God, you get a lot of bang for your buck here. So that's a lovely mask there. That's the old school She-Ra mask. So I see that's going to, the hair is going to go on it like that and stuff. And then, oh, wow, another tiara again. Uh, I wonder which one is which then. Because I, I know I know Miliano does the bulk of design, but I know that the other guys kind of come in as well. Hector RC comes in as well, and a couple of other guys come in and do their own little bits and bobs. That's a gorgeous. That looks more like Miliano's actually. Um, thing. I'd have to actually look, so don't quote me on that. But that is another. Jeez, that's just another gorgeous tiara. It's a bit more aggressive. 
Oh, I'm definitely going to have to look and see what that looks like. I like me a little bit. I like me more of an aggressive shearer, as we all know. And there you go. Comes with the Mando stand, which I never like. <laughs> Hate the Mando stands. But, you know, I love the Mando figures. So what are you going to do? I just wish... I just wish they were wider, because it, you, you don't get wide stances on these figures. So... There we go. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. All right, that's everything. All right, that's everything. That's everything. There you go, All right. Boom. Oh, yeah, she doesn't want to stand too freaking you're only going to make sure she's... Uh... Ooh. We could probably put the stand there. That'd be useful. I mean, there you go. So there you go. That's everything now that comes with her. That is a, a lot of bang for your buck there, in fairness. that's You're getting quite a lot there. That's really good. Sup of tea? All right. Oh, look at the way she's got one breast kind of with the t uh, design on it and the other one's not and stuff like that. I love that. All right, let's, let's put her together. Let's get her all pulled up and put her together. I'm going to take a cut now. We'll come back in a few minutes. Okay, so... It took a little bit of figuring out, but I just wanted to show people how the um, scabbard fits onto the back. And and you you got to be a little bit careful. You do not want to scuff the paint on there. It's the same as He-Man. So if anyone had to see man it was the same kind of... It's a little bit basic, to be honest. I think something maybe like a fastener would have been a little bit better. Something that that came off the strap and wrapped around and just strapped on like that. Besides having to go into the, 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 the skin like that. It was the same as He-Man. But the trick is, is to pinch... The leather make sure you pinch see underneath here see the way the straps go underneath there pinch the leather so you can just slide those in there and they stay in there pretty firmly once it's in there it's pretty firmly because you got to take off the hair you got to it's all fine it all pops off really easily i mean it just pops out and off no problem at all so it's no big deal at all but yeah if you want to go with the look with the sword do that pinch the leather straps to make sure they bulge out and then slide the little thingies in very gently so you don't don't scuff the thing but there you go now let's get the cape on her Okay, so now now we've got the cape attached. I can reattach the hair. Now, there's this is where I personally chose to attach the cape. And they clip in there quite nice. I didn't want to be scuffing the back bud, but there's actually, if you look in the back of her hair there, there's a little, um, um, the leather meets the shoulder pad there. The leather meets the gold shoulder pad there. There's a little, little bit of extra leather between the two of them. That's where I chose to put it in there because I feel the cape originally attached to her neck piece anyway. So I figured that having it up higher was probably the way to go and probably how it was originally intended. And that's what these little hooks are for. The Advisable, pull out the, um, the wire. See the way there's a wire there that's kind of thingy? Pull that out just a little bit because it'll go in there. And they will actually pop in there quite nicely. It reminds me of the, actually the Hot Toys Batman cape where you just kind of pop that in. And you pop it in. But there you go, that's, that's she there now. And then you can um, come along now and you can pop on her hair. Now, oh, which way? Which, which, which hair we go? We'll go with this hair. There we go, pop her hair back on. Oh, there she is now. Oh, oh, right, so that's why the sword is... All uh, right, so you want... This hair goes with this sword, right? So, oh, right, so the sword is a bit problematic with the hair, isn't it? Maybe I need to switch hair out. Hold on. Maybe I need to switch the hair out with the thing. All right, so put this one on. And maybe, ah, right, ah, ha, 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 okay, right, there you go, right, so this hair is designed to go over that sword, so there you go, it's a little bit of, some instructions might have been nice, I think, on this, but, here we go, put that, come on, there we go, oh, there we go, right, there you go, there we go, there we go, and you can see the hair lines up nicely there now, right, so that's what the, I was wondering what the other hair piece was for, I was like, why, why is that there, there you go, so that's, and look, that cape bunches up nicely around her now. So there you go, right. And like I say, you can choose your tiaras. Right, so you got that tiara. That's the, that's, we've already just seen that one. So this is the other tiara. Look at that. Right, there you go. Put that on there. And away you go. I mean, I don't know which... which I, I quite like the aggressive shapes of this tiara. But um, we might just, for the sake of the thing, you just go with the, the other tiara. But look, look, you pop it off, got a little hole in the head here. And you can pop this other one on. I I I I think I like the I think I like this first one. I think it's just a bit more um it's a bit more pretty and elegant. I'll see, I'll have a little look. We'll change her right out. So there you go. That's anyway, that the point of that video, the clip there was just to show you that how the actually things go. 
a little bit of futzing around. So clips on the top there and wiggle the sword in. Remember to expand, you know, maybe put a bit of a blow dryer on it just to get that leather expanding so you don't scuff the plastic too much. There you go. And go. Okay, now that I've got the um, cape and the scabbard back on, which is again, just look at that nice nice nicely. Let's go over the articulation on her. All right, she has lovely, lovely arm movement. How hard can we get that hand up? Oh yeah. Well, there you go. That's nice, lovely arm articulation. Nice, smooth, clean um, joints on this actually. So arm out, full, uh, that's as far as the elbow will go. So you won't be able to get the sword quite leaning on the shoulder. Oh, you might be able to if you do a little bit. I'll, well, we'll pause, her, we'll pause her a bit and see how far we can push her. So that, that, that's that, lovely. The head obviously is a little bit more tighter to control because of the hair here. You need to only get that little bit there to move. So you can move her left and down and you can, she does have a good range of movement on her head, but obviously it's encumbered by the, her hair and the thing. So it's up to you to change it out and how much pose you want. Obviously she originally she in the cartoon didn't have her scabbard. So if you're posing it with that, none of this becomes a problem and you can pose with the different hair and stuff like that. And um, the limitation, oh, she comes with, uh, li the limitation I find comes with moving the leg forward. So her leg will move forward. Oh, that's, and I don't, this is my own and I don't want to push it too further than that. So. That's kind of, that's kind of what you're getting there with the, with the movement, spend that out the way there. That's kind of what you're getting there on the leg movement. Not the best. This seems to be a thingy where I do feel Mondo needs to apply even a softer pliable leather again here. Even just have another separate, like this, the actual dress bit should be maybe a bit, a bit of a softer plastic, but it does go. She does, however, do the splits very nicely. So, I mean, that does go. I don't want to push anymore because I hear that squeaking. And I don't want to push it any more than that. Oh, that's a squeaky. You remember to squeak this guy uh, when you're uh, watching television. Uh, knees, knees go all the way down. Oh, she can go right. She can go really right back there. So pl plenty of movement on the knees there, as with all Mondo's. Uh, plenty of ankle, art ankle articulation. And um, well, I say plenty, mostly up and down. And I will say that mine is a touch loose. So do watch out for that. And I, I would do stand there on the stand. Don't, uh, don't try to stand there with the thing because the ankles are a little loose. You can try and maybe see if you can fix that yourself. But yeah, not much, um, not much rock on the ankles there. So that's a little, that's a little frustrating. But yeah, no, I can't seem to get any more movement out of that, or other than up and down, and no real side to sides with that one. But you know, so we'll have to see how she poses. But yeah, the little, the, the lack of ankle rock is, 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 is. I will say, I, I love ankle rock. I love having my feet and my fingers firm planty, or are planted firmly onto the ground. But yeah, that, that's, that, that, there's the articulation, right? Let's get her all geared up and get her all posed up and I'll give you my final comments then and stuff like that. Look at her, yes. Okay, now here we are, here she is now all completed. There she is in all of her princess of power glory. There she is, Mondo 1-6 scale, Shira, high-end action figure. And there she is. Look at the way the gold goes, look at the way it, everything goes. Emiliano, Hector, and all the gang there at Mondo, man, they did a lovely job. All this. There's her lovely face. I do feel her face is a little bit, a little bit pouty. It's a little bit like, ooh, a little bit attitude-y. In a kind of a LA clubber night kind of girl kind of way. But it's still a beautiful face. It is lovely. And I dare say fans are going to love that. Look at the lovely gold around here. Lovely details on the greaves, Lo incorporating that lovely kind of spiral sort of star symbol that she has, a starburst symbol that she has. Here it is, absolutely lovely stuff. Will be breastplate there. And again, I love how one breast is kind of got that wave over. That's just a nice, subtle design there, so it is. But here you go, as you can see right now, I've got her in her sword and her regular gear. There's cowl down there. Look at cowl. Hey! So yeah, and that, that's kind of all over there. Yeah, sorry about the focus there. Jeez, what's, why is it not focusing properly? So very nice figure indeed. Absolutely really happy with this. Absolutely delighted to finally have a finally a female figure in the Mondo collection. Absolutely stunning. But I'll tell you what, I guess folks are gonna to want to see um, the change in changeable parts. So let's, um, let's change out some parts. Now look at this. Isn't that quite a surprise? I did not think 
the retro toy version would look as pretty as it does, but by crikey, look at that. That is very pretty. That's lovely. Look at that, that's, that's, that works really well. You can attach a whole new belt. So the belt that was on her before, you just snap it off at the back and you can put this whole other new belt on her. Just to kind of give her more of that kind of retro cartoon feel. And then just go in there again. I've given her her uh, filmation sword as well, which is quite nice. And she's got her, like, and like, you can just pop that little fringe on over the mask there as well. And I have to say, I mean, that's lovely. I'll probably go for one of the other, I'll probably go for one of the other helmets or uh, 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 tiaras, but I'll go, probably go, I don't know, I'll, I'll, I'll see about the second one. But that's lovely, isn't it? Am I happy with this figure? Absolutely stoked with this. There's one or two little small things that slightly irk me. Again, the this very stiff dress on there. Again, I feel just should be really good pliable because if I I feel if I bend those legs, I'm gonna start snapping them off like I did with you know, as we famously all did with King, the Queen Grayskull figure back from Mattel when the 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 line cloth was too stiff. Oh yeah, by accident, of course. And I will say that the ankles are just a little, a little loose. So you might want to stiff up with them there. Um, an instruction sheet would have been nice as well, because I think a lot of people are going to be fiddling around with, with the cape. But use your loaf. Look at the videos. Look at my video. Look at Pixel Dan's video. People can see how it's all done. But look at that. I'm absolutely delighted with it. Really, really, really happy. Okay, let's get her in my... I'll put her, let's put her in the look that I'm going to go with. And we'll finish off the video then. Okay? We one more final go. Oh, she's pretty. Okay, now this is my final pass. I've taken all the accessories out, swapped out the accessories, see what parts didn't work the best, and I think this may be the look I'm going to go for. What do you think, guys? Should I go for this one? I mean, I really like the softer helmet too, but there's something about the aggressive shapes in this which I quite like. It just kind of makes her just a little bit more badass. But, you know, it's all good. I mean, that's that's the thing. I mean, I, I say this, and I may very well change it out later tonight and go for the other look. But she is looking sweet, eh, guys? She-Ra, He-Man's twin sister, Princess of Power, 1-6 scale collectible figure, finally, at last, a 1-6 scale. Of course, we now know what we need to be asking for Mondo now, right, really? I mean, how about that 1-6 scale horsey? 1-6 scale swift wind. Do you think that'd be possible? We got a 1-6 scale battle cat coming, which looks amazing. So, 1-6 scale swift wind, where are we at? My God, that'd be that'd be impressive. Pretty impressive to think about. But it seems that Mondo are going all in on this massive universe uh, line. And we're, we got some great figures. We got a He-Man coming up next. They just announced an anti-attorney He-Man for Designer Con, which I believe is coming up very soon. And we got a new, potentially, uh, we've seen some sketches of a new Skeletor. We have seen, of course, Battle Cat, um, and the Battle Cat's just the most amazing thing ever. I mean, the Battle Cat is like the ultimate, ultimate figure. But there you go. That is Mondo's 1-6 scale high-end She-Ra action figure. And there she is. In all of her glory, I'm absolutely delighted to add her to the ranks. I'll be reviewing her audially. I'll give her a more in-depth review on the Hot Toy cast. So check for that soon over the coming weekends. I'll be reviewing that and along. Oh, I'll also be reviewing the, the Revelation Skeletor as well. That is literally going to be delivered as well in the next day or so. So I'll be doing a review of that both on here, the Hot Toy Cast YouTube channel and the Hot Toy Cast podcast indeed. You can also follow me on Instagram, Eamon of Who, to see a, a, more photographs of this. I'll do some photographs, poses. I'll pose it with Hordak, pose it with He-Man. And uh, you can also check me out on Eamon underscore on Twitter and then Eamon of Who on Facebook as well. That's a private thing. You have to kind of maybe... Um, you know, get my approval for that one first. But there you go, guys and girls. Mondo, one six scale, masses of the universe, She-Ra, princess of power figure. Absolutely stunning. I just delighted with these figures. I cannot wait to have enough display room in my own house to be able to display them all together on one lovely shelf. But she is stunning. I wish that camera would just stay focused on her. That'd be nice. There you go. Absolutely stunning figures. You're not gonna be disappointed. Anybody who's ordered this directly from the Mondo store, you're not going to be disappointed. Anyone who's ordering from an, an online store, you might not get all the exclusive and all the bits and bobs that are on the floor here. But, man, you're getting a 
really awesomely beautiful figure here. She is stunning. She is stunning. Lovely, lovely blue eyes. And a lovely kind of like, you know, kind of, it is, it, is, it is a bit of a pouty face, but you know, it works. It's fine. And I love it. Really, really well. Okay, guys, that's that's enough. I'm kind of tripping over myself here again, as I always do at the end of these uh, reviews. Please, you know, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I'll see you the next year. The next one you're going to see will be Revelation Skiller, which I cannot wait. So join me then. See you later, guys.